suck your fountain of youth that only stops the flow yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it, Hip Hop 101 yeah. Mike, check. check this out, it all started out When we was hanging out, trying to get out Mike, check. check this out, it all started out When we was hanging out Plato's Closet makes it easy to sell your gently used styles. Sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Mega. Mike, check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out. We tried to uh, get out. In the beginning, uh -huh. we had no turntables, no mics. Uh -uh. We were friends beatboxing at night. KRS was the master of hype. Yeah, yeah. Left the blueprint to write. We uh -huh. start freestyling. Yeah. Young youths wildin'. Yeah. Hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance. Uh -huh. Gave us a code to follow yeah. to make a street alliance. Yeah. We called that crew Woo. with secret code of silence. Uh -huh. We started riding rhymes, yeah. but mostly battle rap. Yeah. So if you slap me, then I'll slap your back. Until we wrote a song yeah. and then recorded it. Uh -huh. Who woulda knew that woulda been a life changing Woo. event? Mike, yeah. check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out. Shady You make all the music uh, They take all the credit uh -huh. Eventually we learned yeah. To be independent yeah. It's a hard path to take For the ladders and snakes uh -huh. But to make it in this game Nothing would feel more great For real. It could be your fate yeah. Maybe my destiny uh -huh. At this time the industry Would call us heresy Mike, Mike. Check this out It all started out When we was hanging out Trying to get Mike. out Check this out Suck your fountain of youth that only stops the flow yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it, Hip Hop 101 yeah. Yeah. Mike, check. check this out, it all started out When we was hanging out It makes it easy to sell your gently used styles. Sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Mega. In the beginning, uh -huh. we had no turntables, no mics. Uh -uh. We were friends beatboxing at night. K 
KRS was the master of hype. Yeah, yeah. Left the blueprint to write. We uh-huh. start freestyling. Yeah. Young youths wildin'. Yeah. Hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance. Uh-huh. Gave us a code to follow yeah. to make a street a liar. Yeah. We called that crew Woo. with secret code of silence. Uh-huh. We started riding rhymes, yeah. but mostly battle rap. Yeah. So if you slap me, then I'll slap your back. Until we wrote a song yeah. and then recorded it. Uh-huh. Who woulda knew that woulda been a life changing effect? Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging. Shady You make all the music uh-huh. They take all the credit uh-huh. Eventually we learned yeah. To be independent yeah. It's a hard path to take For the ladders and snakes uh-huh. But to make it in this game Nothing would feel more great For It could be your fate yeah. Maybe my destiny uh-huh. At this time the industry Would call us heresy M- Mike Check this out A fountain of youth that only stops the flow yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it, Hip Hop 101 yeah. Yeah. Mike Check this out, it all started out It makes it easy to sell your gently used styles, sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Mega. Mike, check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out, trying to get out. In the beginning, we had no turntables, no mics. We were friends beatboxing at night. KRS was the master of hype. Left the blueprint to write. We start freestyling. Young youths wildin'. Hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance. Gave us a code to follow to make a street alliance. We called that crew with secret code of silence. We started riding rhymes, but mostly battle rap. So if you slap me, then I'll slap your back. Until we wrote a song and then recorded it. Who woulda knew that woulda been a life changing event? Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out. Shady, you make all the music, uh, they take all the credit. Uh-huh. Eventually, we learned yeah. to be independent. Yeah. It's a hard path to take for the ladders and snakes. Uh-huh. But to make it in this game, nothing would feel more great. For it could be your fate, yeah. maybe my destiny. Uh-huh. At this time, the industry would call us heresy. My- my- Check this out. Watch out for silly hoes, they 
suck your fountain of youth that only stops the flow yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it, Hip Hop 101 yeah. Mike, Mike Check, check this out. your gently used styles sweaters and jackets athletic wear and your cool basics like jeans and tops we pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love save money shop smarter that is plato's closet uh, yeah. huh, huh. wake up 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 hip hop hip hop hip hop hip hop the beginning, uh-huh. we had no turntables, no mics, uh-uh. we were friends beatboxing at night, KRS was the master of hype, yeah, yeah. left the blueprint to write, uh-huh. we start freestyling, yeah. young youths wildin', yeah. hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance, uh-huh. gave us a code to follow, yeah. to make a street alliance, yeah. we called that crew, Woo. with secret code of silence, uh-huh. we started riding rhymes, yeah. but mostly battle rap, yeah. so if you slap me then I'll slap your back, until we wrote a song, yeah. and then recorded it, uh-huh. who would have knew that would have been a life changing event? Check this out, it all started out, when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out, it all started out, when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out, it all started out, when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out, it all started out, when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Press vinyl and tape into a different world. Money for videos Make sure you know your business or you'll go crazy Because record company people are shady You make all the music, they take all the credit Eventually we learned to be independent It's a hard path to take for the ladders and snakes But to make it in this game, nothing would feel more great It could be your fate, maybe my destiny At this time the industry would call us heresy Mike, check this out Your fountain of youth that only stops the flow. Yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody. Nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody. Sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun. Uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it. Hip Hop 101. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, check this out. your gently used styles sweaters and jackets athletic wear and your cool basics like jeans and tops we pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love save money shop smarter that is plato's closet uh, yeah. huh, huh. wake up 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 hip hop hip hop hip hop hip hop the beginning, uh-huh. we had no turntables, no mics, uh-uh. we were friends beatboxing at night, KRS was the master of hype, yeah, yeah. left the blueprint to write, uh-huh. we start freestyling, yeah. young youths wildin', yeah. hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance, uh-huh. gave us a code to follow, yeah. to make a street alliance, yeah. we called that crew, Woo. with secret code of silence, uh-huh. we started riding rhymes, yeah. but mostly battle rap, yeah. so if you slap me then I'll slap your back, 
until we wrote a song yeah. and then recorded it. Uh-huh. Who would have knew that would have been a life changing event? Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out when we was hanging out, trying to get out. Press final and tape into a different world. Money for videos Make sure you know your business or you'll go crazy Because record company people are shady You make all the music, they take all the credit Eventually we learned to be independent It's a hard path to take for the ladders and snakes But to make it in this game, nothing would feel more great It could be your fate, maybe my destiny At this time the industry would call us heresy Your fountain of youth that only stops the flow. Yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody. Nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody. Sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun. Uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it. Hip Hop 101. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, check this out. It makes it easy to sell your gently used styles, sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. We had no turntables, no mics Uh -uh. We were friends beatboxing at night KRS was the master of hype Left the blueprint to write We Uh start freestyling Young youths wilding Hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance Uh Gave us a code to follow To make a street alliance We called that crew With secret code of silence Uh We started riding rhymes But mostly battle rap So if you slap me then I'll slap your back Until we wrote a song and then recorded it Uh Who would have knew that would have been a life changing event? Shady, you make all the music, uh, they take all the credit. Uh-huh. Eventually, we learned yeah. to be independent. Yeah. It's a hard path to take for the ladders and snakes. Uh-huh. But to make it in this game, nothing would feel more great. Yeah. Maybe my destiny. Uh-huh. At this time, the industry would call us heresy. Uh-huh. A fountain of youth that only stops the flow yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it, Hip Hop 101 yeah. Yeah. Mike, check this out
closet makes it easy to sell your gently used styles. Sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. No turntables, no mics. Uh-uh. We were friends beatboxing at night. KRS was the master of hype. Yeah, yeah. Left the blueprint to write. We uh-huh. start freestyling. Yeah. Young youths wildin'. Yeah. Hip hop gave us brotherhood and life guidance. Uh-huh. Gave us a code to follow yeah. to make a street alliance. Yeah. We called that crew Woo. with secret code of silence. Uh-huh. We started riding rhymes, yeah. but mostly battle rap. Yeah. So if you slap me, then I'll slap your back. Until we wrote a song yeah. and then recorded it. Uh-huh. Who woulda knew that woulda been a life changing event? Check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out. Trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out. Trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out. Trying to get out. Check this out. It all started out. When we was hanging out. Trying to get out. Press vinyl and tape. Into a different world. Music land is a Money for videos uh-huh. Make sure you know your business or you'll go crazy yeah. Because record company people are shady You make all the music, uh-huh. they take all the credit uh-huh. Eventually we learned yeah. to be independent yeah. It's a hard path to take for the ladders and snakes uh-huh. But to make it in this game, nothing would feel more great for It could be your fate, yeah. maybe my destiny uh-huh. At this time the industry would call us heresy m- m- Check this out Your fountain of youth that only stops the flow. Yeah. This ain't for everybody, uh. so don't trust anybody. Nah. Cause you will mess yourself up and then blame anybody. Sure. Stay true to yourself, yeah. make sure you're having fun. Uh. Mega Sean, I'm glad I made it. Hip Hop 101. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, check this out. It makes it easy to sell your gently used styles. Sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool basics, like jeans and tops. We pay cash for your items and have all the brands and looks you'll love. Save money, shop smarter. That is Plato's Closet.
Plato's Closet makes it easy to sell your gently used styles, sweaters and jackets, athletic wear, and your cool base.
Uh, yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Zin, 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 zin. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Yeah, huh, huh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Um, I'm not seeing one. Tavish, um, wait, can wait. I think I got. Do we have audio, guys? Check. One two one two. Check. There's audio. There's audio. We're good. We're good. <laughs> was it a mute button? No, it was something else. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're live. We're good. Wait, that's the audio right there. Yeah, that's the audio. Holy sweet flying fuck. Thank boys. you, Mr. Audio <laughs> Man. Hello, everybody. Mel welcome. Music 411 2021. I am your host, Mega Sean. Nice to meet you all. We have a live event that's brought to you by the wonderful musical business students of Durham College. He's not we even. We got a dope the, lineup the for gym. you guys. We're going to be showcasing four artists to you on all different walks of life and I different don't have genres of music. One, Dakota Mill. Here at all. Uh, Carly Wilson, Tyler Lorette, and Da Vinci. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. And we're going to have a contest later on, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And we're going to show you what we got to offer. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Doing good. All right. Well, 
at this point where we're going to be playing the the songs right away or are we asking we asking you guys some questions how long have so we'll start with uh carly how how long have you been doing music since i was a little kid uh, music was like mandatory in my family my dad family they're all musicians both his parents grandparents his sister and her husband like it was mandatory when we got together even if it was like a like a birthday party we all had to sing happy birthday like on key and we had to harmonize and nobody could mess up <laughs> so okay. I, I was just doing it my whole life so tell the tell everybody what kind of music you make um so i do r and but i'm actually uh i'm dabbing in uh, reggae and pop right now, so okay. I'm excited for some new stuff I'm working on. All right, that's good. Tyler. Yeah, what's up? Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, man. How long you been doing music? Let the people know. Well, I've been doing music basically my whole life. Um, ever since I was four years old, I was dragging around a guitar and trying to bang on that thing. But um, music got serious around. Around 12, I was like doing like 100 shows a year. Um, and I was just grinding from there on. It's been working really hard. 100 shows a year, that's impressive. Uh, what? Tell everybody what kind of music you make. Uh, I make urban pop music. I'm an urban pop artist. All right, that's dope, that's dope. Dakota. Um. Well, myself, Braden, I've been, uh... I've been doing music, yeah, for as long as I can remember. Uh, started drum lessons when I was probably six or seven years old, and then started playing guitar when I was around 13. Um, then during all throughout high school, I just kind of played at any coffee shop or little pub that would allow me to play. Um, but I didn't start touring consistently until uh, until I got to college. And then, uh, yeah, I toured around with a, in an indie band at the time, and then that kind of fizzled out, and then I linked up with... That guy right there, Mr. Joey Denbutter. Uh, and then things have been going pretty steady until uh, until the, the pandemic. Well, yeah. How about you, Jim? <laughs> Mid, mid-tour, we, uh, we have to stop. Uh, yeah, I mean, same for me. I think like everyone here, I've been playing music all my life. My parents forced me into piano lessons. Five and, I, and they told me, oh, you're going to thank us later. And I said, no, I hate it. And I think later because I'm still playing now and uh, started drums, do guitar and bass. And I recently started banjo and accordion and harmonica. I uh, play a couple and saxophone as well. I play a couple of instruments. And uh, yeah, I was in kind of like funk band in high school. Like I was playing classical when I was young and then transitioned into kind of like blues and jazz and funk. And uh, yeah, then like Braden was saying, I think we we met in high school and kind of just started jamming together. And then he went off to college. I went off to audio school and we linked up afterwards again and uh, started making music together. So we've been doing that for like, what, Joey four or five and years? Joey and Braden are Dakota Mill. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. That's the name of the group. Yeah. 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 Awesome. And what kind of genre of music you guys make? Um... I think the core of it would be, uh, ascent- they're all essentially folk songs, um, but I'd say like, it's very safe to say indie folk, indie rock, like it's kind of anything under the Indian folk umbrella. rock. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, we do have other songs that kind of like steal from other genres as well. Like we have some songs that are very synth based and kind of, uh, more electronic as well. So we, uh, we're not really like super confined to one thing it's one of those things where whatever the song calls for is kind of what we go with and um and yeah so just kind of whatever <laughs> all right that's good da vinci yo how you doing bro how you doing brother i'm all right um let the people know um how long you been doing music uh i've been around music for like since I was since I was a kid, pretty much, my mom was a singer. And my dad was a singer as well. Um, what you call it? I I did it for a while, and then when I got to like my teenager years, I kind of took it serious, and then I dropped it again. And then about three years ago, I picked it up again and like took it professionally serious. So if we're talking professionally about three years, but in general, I've been in your arm music my whole life. Yeah. All right, what kind of genre of music you make? I make rock. Well, I, I make a mixture of rock and trap, pretty much, but rock music, yeah. 
All right, all right. That's dope. That's dope. You have any, um, you guys haven't met each other before, have you? You four artists? Nope. Nope. No. All right. Well, in our first round of songs, it's going to be, I believe, Dakota Mill first with Paradise. And then we're going to have Carlay with uh, Hit Different. Then we're going to have Tyler with Turn On Me. And then Da Vinci with Therapy. We guys ready to uh, showcase your music? We are ready. Sure, absolutely. Sure. Let's go.
different when I say I need to see you now And I know you can't come down Save me from this lonely world Oh baby, it's so cold here My name is Tyler Lorette and I'm a 17 year old singer songwriter from Curtis, Ontario. Just wanted to say thank you so much to Music 411 for putting this event on and inviting me. And I hope everybody is going to have a great time. But my first song is called Turn On Me. It's an original song of mine and it is so close to 1 million Spotify streams, which is absolutely insane. Let's do this. I think I 
I need some help What's your name? I don't know, that's why I told you how I felt Mama hurt and nerves irking and my father's for himself But I love him and I hate him at the same time It's a mind fuck, how can I sit and remain blind? Bitch, he just might come to you a total shock Maybe you just hate this guy cause he never was your pops Why me? What the fuck could I do but be me? Left me in the gut, I was raised in these streets And people wonder why I'm quick to go up in the grave Shout out to my mother, she gave birth to some hate Man, I'm sorry if I'm getting sentimental I got too much on my mental If you're talking to me crazy, I might rearrange your dental I'm a general, I'm unstable like a bomb Just a blowing accidental, nigga Flag, I'm a Martian, I'm really not from here Got three out the sky, face, boy, I'm going down here We live. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yep. You guys can hear me, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, please, man. I don't know. Hello? We can hear Somebody you. Somebody say something. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. oh, oh, my audio. Hold you guys doing oh sorry about that. my headphones broke my headphones died on me sorry about that <laughs> it happens okay um who was that who's who's was that dakota was that dakota that was a the, 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 the that video was in the winter time outside in the snow yeah it was, yeah, it was probably Snow Outside. Was that Snow Outside? Yeah. No, no, like, uh, are you talking about the actual music video for Paradise? Oh, yes. I was shot in the winter, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, was so, that a highway you guys was, that the video started off the side? Was that a... Oh. Yeah, that was, uh, I honestly can't even remember where that was, but it was, like, four, like, we're from Hamilton, so that was, like, I don't know, three hours north somewhere, uh, yeah. I think. Our manager Matt, he uh, he spotted this like barn that's in shambles on the way to the cottage one time, and he's like, "That would be a sweet spot for a music video." So he dropped the pin, and then we just hopped in a car and drove there, and it was blistering cold. It was it was so cold, like it was we like Braden's playing guitar in the video, and like I would have gloves on to warm them up and then in between the take he, i would give him the gloves and he would have to warm up for a second like you'll see his cheeks are all rosy and stuff <laughs> we were we were freezing yeah <laughs> there it was like it was like a day that was like minus 28 with the wind chill and just <laughs> such a wind chill yeah oh yeah. that's terrible <laughs> worth it though <laughs> yeah <laughs> Car carly um that bridge i don't know why that bridge in your video looks familiar that is uh, the, uh, the red bridge yeah. What area is that? What that's, area is that? That's New Orleans. That's um City 
park. Like, oh yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I had a feeling. It, it looks like some place in in Canada that I've been to, but oh. I guess I was wrong. I was wrong. But you know what? Well, what part of Canada? I thought it was. Ha- it looked like a place in Hamilton, actually. Oh. <laughs> Tell you the truth. No, I just know there's some similarities between like New Orleans and like some areas in Quebec because of like the French influence, but no, it's New Orleans. Um, how hard does let's just start one at a time. I'll, we'll start with um, Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Yeah, I'm here. My bad. Um. How challenging do you think it is to make videos? How challenging is it for you to make videos? Um, not not that challenging at all. Cause that's what I do um, on the regular. I, I'm, a, I'm a director, editor, okay. slash colorist, all that. Yeah. What, 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 where are you from? I'm from Miami, Miami, Florida. From, okay, from Miami. All right. Um, the music scene down there. Like, do you go from state to state with your music? Um, now, yeah, but before, no, um, I was, I was pretty much, I'm a, I'm a Miami rock star, pretty much. <laughs> I'm like the only one out here that makes this type of vibe. All right. So, so it's, I guess, so because you're like, you don't find a lot of artists that are like you in your area, you find it's easier to maneuver? Uh, I wouldn't say easier to maneuver. It's just, it's actually harder because it's like down here. Um, there's not much of a scene for that, I guess. Um, okay. Or it's not a prominent scene. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot. You know, regular hip-hop, like, that, that's, like, the, the big thing here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Trap-type vibes. So I'm trying to combine the two in a way where both sides can kind of mess with it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So I bring, like, the rock element that I like. And then, uh, I, you know, I like hip-hop, too, because I grew up on it and whatnot. But, like, I'm trying to combine both elements of what I like to... To be how you say sonically acceptable. There we go. Okay. As far as like my city goes, yeah. All right. All right, uh, Taylor. Yeah, what's up? Um, what exactly inspired you to go cartoon? For the video? Yes. Um. Well, it's been pretty hard with COVID and stuff to film and get my team together to do my videos. So. Uh, I got my uh, animator, I guess, <laughs> to cook me up a animated video. Because I oh, couldn't so, uh, do the COVID because it was closer to the start. So is this your first animated video? Yeah, yeah, that's my first animated video. Do you, how did you find it? You find it, e- it was easier to do because you didn't have to get a wardrobe, do all of that stuff, or did you find it harder? Do you find the cost is the, around the same? Tell us, every, tell everybody the, how hard or easier it was to do something like that. Yeah, hundred percent. It was definitely way easier because I just had to sit at home and like get, tell tell her what I wanted for the video. So I was like, yeah, I want this, this, and this. It was not like I had to get like um, all my clothes and stuff like ready. But um, it was it was probably about around the same price to to film a normal video. Right. Yeah, I like I did my first animated video uh, last year also, and yeah, um, the more the crazier you get with the animation, the more cost heavy it is. But it is a lot less stressful, I find, because you don't have to be on set, you don't have to get a wardrobe, you don't have to worry about extras, you don't have a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about that I didn't realize that gets cut out of the way once you did it, something in animation. Yeah, 100%. Now, um, how hard do you find making videos also? Like, like besides that, like, you've made videos before. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really find them that hard. I just, I just vibe out. Um, the editing, I normally edit my own videos, so that's probably the harder part of my video creation, but I'm getting the hang you of edit, it much easier. You, you edit your own videos? Yeah, I edit my own videos. But, uh, by choice, or you decided, you know what, you've had enough, so you're going to do it yourself? Nah, yeah, I just I just like doing it myself. I enjoy doing that. Okay. Um, 
Carly, um, how hard do you find it? Is it easier to to do videos coming from Louisiana, going back and forth from Atlanta, or is it is it easier to? <laughs> Well, how do you know I'm going back and forth? No, it's very hard. <laughs> I have such a hard time with videos. Um, I, 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 I'm sorry if I assume that. <laughs> no, I mean, I am, though, because, um, so I moved to Atlanta recently, but the the songs that I have that I've been making videos for have, like, very much New Orleans vibe, so I've still been filming my videos in New Orleans. And um, for my single that I have out now, I've been filming that video for, like, three months now <laughs> but I finally finished like the filming part and I'm just like waiting on the edits so I have like I don't I don't edit my own video so I it is kind of hard for me but I I enjoy the process I just try to enjoy the process and like when like stuff goes wrong always inevitably I think it brings out like the creativity because then I like think of new ideas and like stuff to incorporate in the videos so yeah it, I, I mean for me it's been hard but um, it, it's, it's been worth it. I feel like every video I make just gets better and better, so. Okay, I believe some uh, extra people have joined in on the, the Twitch or something, and everybody wants to know what genres of music everybody is representing, so it will start with you, Carla. Uh, so I do R&B, but I'm also working on reggae and pop. Okay, and tell us, how has the pandemic affected your way of making music it has totally changed you know my trajectory i used to perform live a lot in new orleans um i used to like perform singing and dancing to crowds of like 150 to 300 people um three nights a week and um ever since last march i haven't been able to do that uh and that was like a steady form of income so it was like really hard like trying to figure out like how do i like keep making money without being able to perform live. So that's how I kind of, that's how I just got back in the studio and started um, really working on my craft more. So it's been like a blessing and a curse, you know, it's been like sad to like not be able to see people and perform live, but it's been great because it helped me like, you know, become like more of a recording artist instead of like a um, cover, um, cover artist. Okay. A Dakota Mills. Yes, sir. How you guys doing? What tell ever tell the people again? Sorry, um, about what genre of music you guys represent? Yeah, I th let's just go with indie. That's a that's a safe bet, I think. Indie, um, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we pull influence from from all sorts of genres, but uh, I think essentially indie would be would be the safest term to classify it as. How about you, Joe? What would you yeah, I'd agree with that. Indie or like folk rock, like I mentioned earlier, I'd say pretty well and, and describes and us. <clears throat> tell us how the pandemic has affected your guys' new, um, ability to move forward, or has it helped? Uh, it's definitely hindered. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't really say it. I mean, you know, it's tough. It's tough to say because we spent the entire pandemic uh, really focusing on writing and recording because that's all we've been able to do, right? And we've gotten a ton done. Uh, so there is kind of two sides of the coin. Like if if we were still touring as much as we were before the pandemic, we might not have got as much recording done. Um, but I think definitely in general, it's, it's hindered more than helped, uh, cause knowing us, we, we definitely still write while we're on the road a lot. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, cut out a big income stream for us, which is live performances. Okay. Um, Taylor, Taylor. Yes, sir. Um, tell the people again, sorry about uh, but some more people have joined in. Uh, what what music are you representing? I'm an urban pop artist, and uh, I try to bring, like, I, I like every genre of music, so I try to bring all my favorites into my my uh, songs. But yeah, I was, like, um, listening to your song, and I was, like, um, it sounds like something I would hear on the radio. I've heard, or maybe I've heard your song on the radio. I'm not even sure. It's like it, it's like this is the the stuff that actually is on this the the pop radio stations. Your sound is definitely uh, the sound that's on these pop radio stations at the moment. 
Thank and you. tell us um, how the pandemic has helped you, affected you with making your music. It's been it's been definitely harder because I was supposed to I was supposed to go on tour this year and that definitely got canceled. Um, sadly, but the good part about COVID is I wrote like 50 songs. I got I got bare music that I've been writing, so that's the good part. Okay. Da Vinci. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I'm sir. Um, tell the people the, the one more time what genre of music you represent. Uh, trap rock, pretty much. So trap rock, yes. Tell us how the pandemic is affecting your ability to move forward, or is helping you, or um, it helped on the creative end. Like you know, everybody's locked in now, so everybody's like pretty much writing and producing at this point right now. Um, uh, I, I was able to link up with a few people on Clubhouse and whatnot, and we are making moves now. Like, I, I generally don't usually be on my phone like that, like that. And, you know, the pandemic kind of made it so now you're on your phone. So, you know, I'm interacting with people online and whatnot now. I'm, I'm usually the in-person type. Um, as far as, like, shows go, I had shows that I was supposed to attend um, that got canceled due to COVID and uh yeah like i was gonna go do rolling loud miami and that got canceled that was supposed to be like a big thing so but yeah okay um why did you go with the name da vinci a lot of people want to know what made you call yourself da vinci all right um okay so i said i'm a director as well right I shoot yes. like music videos, um, commercials. Like I'm that guy when it comes like visually. Uh, um, my videos are tend, tend to be top notch. But um, I, my director name is Vanessa Da Vinci, and there's a program that's called Da Vinci that I, I use really well, pretty much. And when I became an artist, it, I, I pretty much how you say this, I applied the same aspect that I do to film here. Like I. I blend a few different things to create a different type of art for myself. And in that, I figured, I was like, you know what, I might as well just keep the same name, Da Vinci, because I'm literally doing the same thing on this side. Whenever I hop in a booth, I, I just think of like, I, I never I never think about anyone in, in general to be like, okay, I'm gonna make it like this or make it like that. I just, I think about what, how I feel in that moment and I cook up type of thing, so. Okay, now a uh, question for you, and it's the same question for everybody, so I want you to think about your answer before I get to you. Well, we'll start with Da Vinci. Um, who are the artists that inspire you, and who are the, some of the artists that you've ever performed with or worked with that you enjoyed working with, and why? Uh, from a musical standpoint or a video yeah. standpoint? Actually, because you're both, I would, you know, it's in the same industry, so tell us what answer is more comfortable for you. Okay, so, um, all right, so to answer the first question, musically, probably MJ and Tori, and Tori Lanes. Like, those are, like, my two inspirations. MJ and then Michael Jackson? Yeah, and right. Tori. And Tori Lanes, the both both of those. Uh, that's, that's, like, primarily who I listen to in general. Like, you know, I, I listen to what's there as far as, like, the, the hip-hop game goes to to know what's going on. But like, if I'm saying favorites or inspiration-wise, like Tori and My Michael Jackson. Um, All right. Now, far, is, is, there, is there artists that you have coming up with, you worked with, that you enjoy, that you said that experience was good, enjoyable for you? Um, X. Uh, I was on set shooting. Um, what should we call it? Uh, what song was that? Uh, uh, look at me. Look at me. I forgot the name. I forgot the title of the song, but um, what should we call it? We were shooting on a green screen at the at the thing. I filled in for a DP, um, and I didn't know I was shooting for X that day. They just told me to come. Which a a director me. X? No, 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 no. Uh, Tentacion. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I didn't know I was shooting for him that day, but I came in and he was there, and this was my first time meeting him. I didn't, I didn't even really know about him like that, like that, right? And, and, but he, apparently he's famous. He was famous at the time. And I was like, oh shit. So it's cool got a picture in and we, we were just talking and we were talking about, you know, energy and music and shit like that. And he was like, yo, dude, you got good energy. He's like, what do you do? And, you know, I told him what I did and whatnot. And that I was thinking about doing music, but I never 
you know, like pulled the trigger for real, for real. And he was like, yo, dude, do it. I feel like you'd be dope. And then here we are. <laughs> so, That's good. All right, uh, Carly. Wait, so what's the question? How you doing, girl? Um, the question is, who was your, who influenced you? Which artist influenced you? And has there been an artist that you worked with that you said, hey, you know what, I enjoyed that experience? Um, what artist influenced me? That's like hard, but I would say my biggest influencers would be like Anita Baker, um, Alicia Keys, uh, and actually this artist from Japan. Her name is Sally Ann. And like my dad found her like in New Orleans somehow. She was like visiting America and he she gave him a CD and it was like full of like all her music. And she did like a bunch of covers of like Bossa Nova, like Brazilian jazz songs. Mm -hmm. um, and I was a kid and I listened to the, that CD on repeat for years, like, you know, trying to like learn the words and like sing along with her. Um, okay. And I grew up on YouTube. Yeah, so, but there's an artist in New Orleans that I've been able to work with. She's so amazing. She's just an amazing singer. She, they call her like the Aretha Franklin of New Orleans. Like, she has an amazing voice, and I learned a lot from her about, like, you know. Um, Is she older just or, or younger? She's older. She's older. Okay. She's very experienced. She's just so freaking experienced. But when it comes to, like, live performance, like, unmatched, like, you know. I just, I, I've never seen someone perform the way she does. Like, we would go, like, from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., and she still had energy. Like, she could still, you know, keep singing. She could go till 5, 6 a.m., you know, if the club didn't have to close. So she she just taught me a lot about how to, like, entertain people and keep a crowd going. So I really appreciated, like, all the time that I got to spend working with her. Okay. That's good. Tyler. Yo, yo. Okay, now, so, um, who's your biggest influences? And is there an artist that you have worked with that you say, you know what, that was a good experience? Yeah, that's a hard one. I got a few. Um, I have to say, Post Malone, Justin Bieber, and John okay. Lear. They inspire me a lot. Um, and someone that I would love to work with is my vocal coach slash mentor, her name is Roberta Michelle, and she's a Sony recording artist. Well, she was, um, and and a songwriter. And I do a lot of work with her, so that's that's my favorite. Okay, that's dope. Dakota Mill. Yo. Um. Yeah, my artist that influenced me is a super tricky one because it changes so often. I listen to a ton of music and I mean, even artists, I think everything I listen to influences me to a certain degree, um, whether it's a positively or negatively. But lately I've been listening to a lot of just um, like 70s outlaw country stuff for whatever reason, I've been getting really into that. And a lot of uh, newer artists that are doing kind of a revival thing of that genre too, with like Paul Coffin, Tyler Childers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like it, my music taste changes from day to day. One day I'll be listening to like country, another day I'll be listening to more indie rock and it goes to hip hop some days too. Um, but yeah, so I, I think, re yeah, most recently, I think my last record I listened to was a little Canadian gem named uh, Daniel Romano. Oh, that's nice. And that's the last artist I listened to. Yeah, I think that's true for both of us that we, um, like, yeah, I mean, sure, we have artists growing up that have been inspirations, but at the same time, I think kind of everything you hear always is inspiring, it's making you think of stuff differently. So I wouldn't say that, like, oh, these artists, like, really influencing, that's the only ones. It's, it's kind of like an ever-evolving thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Brayden and I do live together, so we have a lot of the same artists that we listen to. Uh, as of recent, you forgot to mention the Wood Brothers that oh, we've been uh, listening to recently. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, so, but yeah, then other like kind of newer bands would be bands like Mount Joy um, that we've been really liking, Black yeah. Pumas, if you guys know those guys. Um, like, not even that we make similar music to them even, but, you know, all artists are, are kind of influenced in the way that you think about stuff. So, yeah, I think that's kind of like an ever-changing thing for us. Um, yeah, as of artists that we've worked with, I think probably for both of us, one of the famous, or uh, one of the most famous, one of the most, uh, our favorite bands that we've probably performed with is um, uh, Birds of Bellwoods. 
they're super super good performers and they we feel really bad for them they're like this was or 2020 was kind of their year that they were really really blowing up and uh they obviously got hindered there um for me i was i was fortunate enough to work at uh, noble street studios for a while um and i definitely worked with some very cool people uh some somebody who you guys might not know but audio engineers fangirl about is uh, eddie kramer he recorded you know the beatles and Jimi hendrix and all these big artists back in the day i was also fortunate enough to work with gavin brown who's produced all kinds of uh canadian artists and uh yeah like a lot of you know industry professionals like i work with the engineer who did like dark side of the moon so let's just working in that kind of environment like just picking just being a fly on the wall picking up everything that they're doing uh, all the recording techniques and not only from like an audio engineering point of view but also from a producing point of view and from a writing point of view like how how these artists kind of like go from just an idea of a song and then kind of make the final product i think that has really helped me um as a musician and artist myself too okay for you guys so who if there was any artist in the world that you guys could work with who would it be oh i might have the to next take a one second to think about that uh okay. any artist for me I, I would say, are we talking about, about going on tour about with or? answer yeah, are we thinking I, about going on tour or co-writing? Like, what, what in which way? Well, are we if you have two different answers, give both answers. Yeah, I'm very protective of who I do co-writes, knowing myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> took years for me to let Joey in on. Yeah. On, uh, yeah. So I don't know about the co-writing thing, but uh, uh, going on it tour. Could be a band. With, oh, yeah. Like, I, I would love band, to go on tour like with Mount Joy with. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Mount that would Jordan be that would be a sweet Jordan. band to go on tour. But at the same time, I don't know if you guys heard me say it. For me, it's the next one. Like, you know, whoever like there's music is always evolving, right? So it's like, what's the next thing gonna be? What like, what's coming up? You know, not always like, oh, I, I want to work with the guy from wherever wherever go. Obviously, it's it's nice to pay homage to all these old artists, but I'm like, ah, you know, that's already been that's their thing, and I don't want to taint it. So, uh, the next one, but- whatever's happening next. Who's yeah, the next yeah. big thing is who yeah. would be? All right, uh, Da Vinci. Who, who, if there's any artist you could work with today, who would it be? Corey and Post, Post Malone. Oh, matter of fact, oh, that's 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 actually tough because, all right, it is they're they're all four equally up here. Tory Post, Young Blood, and Machine Gun Kelly. Do you say R Kelly? No, 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 no. Machine Gun oh, Kelly. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Carly. Okay, so I have two. One male, one female. Bruno Mars. Like, that would Ooh. be, that would make my life. <laughs> and I would love to work with um, Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Hmm. Okay. Tyler. I would have to say um, Kid Leroy, Post Malone, or Justin Bieber. That'd be that'd be crazy. Now, I'll start with you, Taylor. Um, tell me what number these artists, if they charged you to to do a song, tell me what what is saying. You know what? Forget that number. I'll pass. Is there a number that any of these guys can tell you that you say, you know what, that's too much, I'll pass? Like, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like, like, like 100 grand, that's that's kind of expensive if someone wants to speak, but like most, most right, Yeah, so, okay, we'll just say, we'll go, Justin Bieber was one of the guys on your list. Yeah. Right? All right. Would, would you pass if he says a hundred grand? Would you pass? I better start saving. Bro, so you wouldn't pass. All right. I better start Carly. saving. <laughs> Carly, if, uh, any of the artists you said, if they said a hundred grand, would you pass? Hell yeah. <laughs> or, would you, or would you? Or would you start a GoFundMe account? No, I mean I respectfully I would pass. So All right. <laughs> what about what about you guys, uh, the Dakota Mills? They, like a hundred grand they, for them to work with us or for us yeah. to work with them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think like 
I like to think that music isn't always about the money. You know, it's like yeah. I'd like yeah. to work with an artist just because we enjoy working together. And, it, you know, you don't want it to become an unnatural creative process or, you know, an un like feel weird on tour. Where it's like, oh, well, we paid them to work together. So I think it'd be be nicer just to, you know, get to know someone. And uh, and if it naturally feels good, the vibes are good, then uh, <laughs> you work together. Da yeah, Vinci, I the artist you you mentioned, a hundred grand pass or, or 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 you'll save it up. Save it up. I'm not gonna lie, I'd save it up. But like right. the only reason, right. only reason I do it is because I feel like it's a challenge on that end to see if I can actually do it. Um, and and I'm and I I'd, I'd be the type to be like, I right, bet I'm gonna do it, type of thing. Like I take it as a challenge. I'm real competitive, so. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, we're going into the the second segment, right? We're gonna play your uh, second tracks from everybody. Um, I believe what is this is the the this is the final songs actually, and uh, Dakota Mills song will be called uh, "Time Won't Wait." Carlay, what's on your what's on my mind? Tyler's uh, more to life, Da Vinci motivation. Then uh, the second tracks we'll be playing from you guys is from Dakota Mills, These Walls from Carlay, Go Crazy from Tyler, Wild Boat You and Da Vinci, Dirty Diana. All right. Told I'm feeling old. Hope that I don't lose control. Have my heart stolen by someone who's eternal. They came to me inside a dream, brought me back where I should be in the valley where I found my long lost calling. Now I don't know where I should go from here. From here. Then I would give my time to you Would you give your time to me? Would you give your time to me? All I want is nothing more Than to hear you knocking on my door But if I'm honest All these thoughts of moving on Make my head sore Maybe in another life Maybe I can see the light Maybe I just need to find myself before I find a wife Maybe all of that's alright Maybe love's a waste of time Maybe I just live inside my mind too deep to see outside And we all get sad sometimes But she said, don't you feel bad, just feel glad that it happened We all get sad sometimes, but she said i 
just feel glad that it happened We all get sad sometimes But she said, don't you feel bad Just feel glad that it happened songs about my grandfather's battle with cancer and just never give up feet are planted on the floor paralyzed can't move waiting to hear the news I don't know what we're gonna do I'm scared I'm tired, I see you lying there There's an elephant in the room It's only cause we care There's more to life, lots to live, much to give Stuff to prove, there's more to life, lots to live, much to give Need you in my life when it's tough Be there when you had enough, there's more to life, more to life
when you had enough this mortal life, mortal life. Thank you guys so much. You are amazing. Once again, thank you so much to Music 411 for inviting me out here to play for you guys. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their evening. Thank you and peace out. I'm back in my city, back on my grizzly. I know some ain't feeling it. It's going down, it's slowing up now. I'm going right over when I get a baby. I got a child, they talking that shit, I ain't in it. I changed up my inner lid. I'm holding my crown, I came from the mud, I'm a king and I ain't going bad at it. Said I'm back in my city, back on my grizzly. I know some ain't feeling it. It's going down, it's slowing up now. I'm going right over when I get a baby. Child, they talking that shit, I ain't in it, I changed my inner lane I'm holding my crown and I came from the mud, I'm a king, no I ain't going back to that Got it for the city, fam, when I'm speaking they feel the me Tryna vacate in Chile, yeah, swear to God I'ma get it there Flying all out the city, baby, it's a different time in a different place No, I'm on the way, yeah, 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 I'm a different breed, I could care less What you got to say? I hustle, I bustle, I do what I gotta to get to the check, it's the right time I smoke what I feel, I ain't trippin', I'm home with my kids, they ain't bad by the night time I start play guitar, man, I keep it a hundred, I'm bad, but I'm great in my right mind I put in hours in hours, my family miss me when they hear my success to the grave. I'm back in my city, back on my grizzly, I know some n****s ain't feelin' it It's going down, it's slowing up now, I'm going right over when I get a bed I got a child, they talking that shit, I ain't in it, I change up my inner lip I'm holding my crown, I came from the mud, I'm a king and I ain't going back to this Said I'm back in my city, back on my grizzly, I know some they feeling it It's going down, it's slowing up now, I'm going right up when I get a bag I got a child, they talking that shit, I ain't in it, I change up my inner lane I'm holding my crown and I came from the mud, I'm a king, no I ain't going back to this
All right. Do you want to introduce yourself? Right now? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Carlay. This is Peter, and we're gonna perform "Go Crazy" by Chris Brown.
So I keep the dreams from Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. She want the lean, come at the scene. It's Daddy Diana. It's Daddy Diana. Got blessed with the tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Quit feeding me lies and killing my vibe. Damn Daddy Diana. Yeah, I'm Daddy Diana. You wanna be mine, but look in my eyes, not Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Blessed with the tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. in my eyes. She say she like what she see She say she feeling the vibe She feeling the energy I can't get caught in her lies No way she can't impress me A youngin' once was blind But now it's too plain to see That you can't put a hoe in a queen place Sometimes you gotta go when the scene's safe Looking good in them heels with them heels have by Shawty see a million want a clean play Say she wanna make a movie like it's HBO I'm gonna make sure it's next to She gonna take me to the jungle with her HBO She gonna speak with the HBO she saw the vision, so I keep the dreams from Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. She want the lean, come at the scene. It's Daddy Diana. It's Daddy Diana. Got blessed with the tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Quit feeding me lies and killing my vibe. Damn Daddy, Daddy Diana. You wanna be mine, but look in my eyes, not Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Blessed with the tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Leave me alone in the zone, I'm too focused Get yeah, money, getting shows, I don't want what you saw Bad vibes, thick thighs, what a hell of a post yeah. uh. I'm on the way to the top, Daddy Diana won't say that she got him She wanna give me the top, they keep me mesmerized with her bottom I ain't no Xbox, baby, I can be playing these games She told me F you pay me, then she F me again she just want a million key. Got a body like Beyonce. I could give it to you all day. Too clean for the dirty on street. She just wanna rock my world. Gotta beat it, baby, gotta go. Billy Dean, keep me on my toes. Two men, I'm on small criminal. She saw the vision, so I keep the dreams from Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. She want the lean, come at the scene. It's Daddy Diana. It's Daddy Diana. Got blood, sweat, and tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Quit feeding me lies and killing my vibe. Damn Daddy Diana. Damn Daddy Diana. You wanna be mine, but look in my eyes, not Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. Blood, sweat, and tears all over my team. Daddy Bandana. Got mud on my jeans, and I'm way too clean for Daddy Diana. Daddy Diana. It's it's very important that like what what I saw like you guys look like you're you guys look like you enjoy working together making music together and 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 that's important for everyone to 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 make sure that the people that you're working with you have fun making the music. Yep, I mean, and, and I believe you guys, I believe you guys show that in in, in your visuals. Well, thank, thank you. you. I I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, I think essentially that's like. The reason why everyone is doing this, right, is just because it's it's fun. Um, and if that's not the reason why you're doing it, then you might want to rethink it. Yeah, you should but, probably not be doing it. <laughs> yeah, because it's certainly not the money. <laughs> it's definitely not the money. <laughs> Carly, oh, Carly, you have you have such a beautiful, unique voice, and and you, <laughs> at, at any time, if you feel like. Stopping, I don't think you should, right? Aww. Because what I've learned from music is when when on a certain area, sometimes 
might not feel every genre of music. Where, where if there's a no, the next door is a yes half the time. So every time there's a door closing, there's always another door opening. You have a beautiful voice. Don't don't stop. Um, Taylor, Justin Bieber got to watch out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's facts. You know, man, don't stop what you're doing. And, yeah, you got a sound, man, that I believe is going to hit. So keep, keep going. Da Vinci. Yes, sir. Dirty Diana. Where am I going to start with Dirty Diana? Here we go. Uh, you, you redid a Michael Jackson song. I wouldn't say I redid. I no, took no, well, you, you covered a Michael Jackson <laughs> song, and, and, and I liked it better than Michael's. No way. <laughs> I no no no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling nobody's head. I don't like Michael Jackson's "Dirty Diana" song, but I liked yours. So that's something to be said. Honestly, I love Michael Jackson. I like he's my favorite. "Dirty Diana" is one of the songs that he made that I, I don't like. Yours, I liked it. I was jamming to it. Thank so. You. You did a better job with Dirty Diana than Michael Jackson, and I'm not going to repeat it because it, it's the truth to me. It's the truth to me, and I don't care what people say. That's the truth to me. You, I, There, I said it. Too bad for you guys if you don't like it. I like <laughs> the Vinci's Dirty Diana better than Michael Jackson's. I don't care what anybody says. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, on behalf of the Durham College... Uh, we'd like to thank you guys for, for taking the time out, sharing your music with us. We, we enjoyed this event. I hope you guys keep going. I hope you make it big. Don't ever stop. Because uh, if not you, then who? Right? Now, there's, there's also uh, some uh, um, survey that you guys need to fill out. You know what I mean? If and all the people listening, if you could complete and submit your surveys, you could win an iTunes gift card. Also... There's a Cahoots trivia game, and if you uh, do the game also, you could win an iTunes gift card. We'd like to shout out our sponsors for the night, which is Yamaha Canada. Enjoy Detroit, Plateau Closet, and Durham College Students Incorporated. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in, for listening, for your time. Make sure you spread love, not war. I hope you guys wear your mask and keep safe during the pandemic. My name is Mega Sean. You can check me out, Mega Sean Music, on Instagram or on YouTube. The Heresy is the crew. Thank you guys and enjoy the rest of your year and keep making dope music. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Peace.
of the zoom. Oh. All right, we just want to say thank you for everyone who came out. Uh, we want to say congratulations to the winner of the Kahoot. Sal, uh, get in contact with us somehow, and we'll send out your gift card. Um, thank you to our sponsors and everyone coming out. Hope you had a good show. Uh, we will see you later.